Hi guys, welcome back to my XPS video. Now I'm gonna talk about Aldor King Rain. There are lots of good news today. First about, yeah, no seven face on the global. I'm really happy. You can watch about that on previous video. Okay, but now I'm gonna talk about Aldor King Rain. First, what makes him so good? He will become the meta DPS character for a while. Okay, unless global power creep him soon with other exclusive. We have Christmas event, so yeah, maybe they will power creep him again on Christmas, but I doubt that because I think they will release magician on, I mean, for Christmas event instead of physical attackers, okay, because it's kind of boring if they release physical on Halloween and physical on Christmas. So I think Aldor King Rain is on good spot on today okay and he is a starter strength chainer it is good thing because from what i know it is quite easy to chain starter strength and it has lots of hit so very good his trash mastery word is also good because it gives you 30 percent lp damage boost so if you if your character is character that uses uh limit burst as their main attack like Aster then maybe this heavy armor is one of the crucial item for them okay and maybe you say but you need duplicate for Aldor King Rain don't need to worry because based on YouTube video I see that Hyo and he able to chain perfectly on their limit press I'm not sure about this okay but if you play Japan version let me know Okay, and another good thing is he'll get his awakening this Thursday. So really, bringing Hyo with him may be a good idea. But Hyo is the final ruination chainer. But it's okay because what you want to aim is their limit press. And his weak point, his normal rotation is not that strong in quote. It is still pretty decent, but it is weaker than his limit burst that's what i want to say okay but it's okay and like i said he'll get his awakening and latent abilities on this week and if what he gets is same like the japan version then you i don't think you need to pull for Aldor King Rain because Hyo is really really powerful but it seems they make some changes on Hyo so yeah it will be still interesting to pull for Aldor King Rain okay and maybe you have Cartin then in that case maybe you want to save your Lapis because it is not because I'm salty okay just take a look on Furcula FFB Damage Excel you can see that the damage modifier are not that different sure other king rain is more powerful but they are about the same okay and i think other king rain stmr is not that good because it gives you 50 percent through double hand it is useful for definitely yeah it is definitely useful but maybe i don't yeah i you, like you know that i don't like weapon stmr okay especially yeah, the side effects are kind of unnecessary, in my opinion. Okay, so you know about Aldor King Rain, he is an amazing character. But what about his underlings, the 3 and 4 stars characters? So first, Diesel. Diesel Trust Master Reward. Whoa, I must say it is pretty good because it gives you 70% attack if you can fulfill the condition. So it is basically this padded swordsman for great sword users but this padded swordsman is better because it only requires you to equip katana the bad thing about this trust master reward is you need to equip heavy armor it may be not the bad thing for uh, aldor king rain but imagine this one of the best armor for great sword user is hyo clothes that means you cannot use that hyo clothes okay so yeah, there's good and bad thing, okay? But yeah, very good. I recommend you to get Diesel Trust Master Reward if you plan to get Aldor King Raid. And the may 
Macy. Macy is really interesting mage. Her trust mastery what maybe is very unique in my opinion. Because it gives you 1.5 damage modifier boost to art magic. Art magic. So it is not art abilities. That means the only characters that will get the benefit from this trust mastery word is Liffy Chian Toto. Because this accessory also affects Tonga 5. But for other mages, because really guys, let's I believe you will agree with me that black magic is suck on this game. Okay, except for Liffy Chian Toto. The weak points are yes, these two are only max at six stars, not surprising, but really Gumi, I just want to say you have done a good job about summon fest. But why you don't bother with three and four stars characters? I know that we are on the seven stars meta, but at least put some efforts, okay? Like this diesel. Diesel cannot change with anything. Why you don't give characters I mean, not her. Other new 4 stars base characters like an ability to chain with Absolute Mirror of Equity or Stardust Ray or whatever. Okay? Why you don't do that? That kind of blew my mind. Because it's kind of repel new players into this game. Okay? So, enough about the re short preview. Now, should you summon? The answer is depends. I have said this on my some yeah, I forgot which video, but I have said that the rule of thumb for you before pulling newer DPS is make sure that new DPS deal at least 30% more damage compared to your top DPS right now. So let's say if your top tier attacker, physical attacker right now is still Esther. Zeno, okay, those level, that level, okay, Esther Zeno level, then I think you should pull for Aldor, Aldor King Rain because Aldor King Rain DPS is better than, yeah, 30% or maybe even more than those characters. But let's say you have Bards and you already pull for Kartin and Godria, then I think you should hold your lapis, guys. Hold your lapis for the future characters. And like I've said, Hyo gets his abilities awakening this week. I think we should wait. Let's see Hyo abilities awakening. If what he gets is same like Japan version, then I must I can say that he is about on par with Aldor King Raid. But like I said too. It seems that Hyo gets a little bit different abilities awakening. So he will be a little bit inferior today in my opinion, okay? And will be upgraded to his real potential in the future. Because they something like they say something like Latin abilities awakening or whatever on the future on few on the FFB official channel video. Okay, I don't I don't remember. But yeah. Our King Rain gonna be base meta just think him like when you get Hyo when you get Akstar or Zeno first time first time they come just think like that okay he will become really powerful for a long time maybe about two to three months okay maybe after yeah maybe Noctis come to the global that's still long okay so yeah it's very good investment I must say and like you can see here that there is step up summon 25,000 lapis with guaranteed rain Aldor King rain I mean and remember this is refined pool so on the third step you probably won't get troll like the leader I said probably because I don't know which old unit they are gonna remove maybe they keep the leader and remove warrior of like Lena who knows okay but I doubt that I just troll you Okay, so I think that's all you need to know about this week banner. Now let's talk a little bit about Abilities Awakening. So there are two 5 stars characters 
which get abilities awakening on this week. The first is Hyo, the second is Ignis. And both of them are amazing. For Hyo, I only can hope it will be the same or a little bit less powerful than the Japan version because on the global, you need to have other King Rain on your party to trigger some damage boosting abilities on Hyo. You can see it on the preview, okay? The description. That's kind of good and bad thing. The good thing is, like I have said, you probably able to chain their limit press perfectly. And based on Japan version, Hyo also become a powerful LB users. Okay, his cooldown ability gonna boost his LB damage by 200% or something like that. I don't remember, okay? But yeah. But the problem is, Hyo is the Fire Ruination Chainer, while Aldor King Rain is Stardust Rain. So, really, they are kind of contradict on normal terms. Okay, I hope, I wish, not I hope, I wish they change Hyo chaining into Stardust Rain when they pair, when we pair it with Aldor King Rain, but that's probably not gonna happen. But still, Hyo is very strong. I think after this week, we're gonna see three characters for leader. I mean four, okay, four. Kartin, Godria, Aldor King Rain, and Hyo. Because I think after this, after on this Thursday, those four are gonna be the strongest physical attackers. Okay, so that's it. Let's just wait until Thursday. I will make full review for all the characters. Another interesting thing about Ignis is i'm not sure about his japan awakening okay i don't i didn't check him but his global is pretty amazing guys i really whoa i have five ignis if you don't know and yes i really want to awaken him asap because he has 200 percent all stats buff from the first turn that lasts for four turns okay so that's pretty insane okay 200 percent all stats buff and he can cast 30% damage mitigation on the first turn, so you don't need another character to help him like before. And after that, after unlocking his cooking abilities, he has 50% damage mitigation. Wow, that's pretty insane. And not only that, he also has 80% all elementaries buff. So he's kind of become Sylphie on steroid. Okay? really amazing but yeah let's just wait until thursday because from what i read i'm not sure maybe they nerf or whatever okay but i'm really happy with the news that come today on ffb okay really really good news i think future global future is kind of brighter than japan for you who still hate and complain i don't know what to say okay what i can say is yeah, just enjoy the game. If you think the game is really, really bad, then just stop playing. But I really like this game. And after hearing that news, oh, I become very, very happy, okay? So, yep, I think that's all you need to know about this uh, Aldor King Rain banner. If you need to know about the Summon Fast Global system, watch my previous video, okay? Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button. And subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy Pro Apex Fuse Guide. Bye bye, guys.